Welcome to the SoundBridge Music Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know front range artists who not only shaped the local music scene, but who joined with SoundBridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're so happy to be here today with Valerie Bott, the SoundBridge Music Featured Artist for November 2018. Valerie is a guitarist and songwriter with a unique brand of Southern blues grounded in the traditions of Bob Dylan and Bonnie Raitt. Her creative songwriting showcases varied guitar techniques and clear and honest melodic vocals, highlighting thoughtfully observant lyrics with a wide repertoire of well-known covers. But I'm finding courage I didn't know I had inside. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us, Valerie. Thank you for having me. I'm really it's honored to be the SoundBridge Music Featured Artist this month. Well, it's such a pleasure for us to have you. So tell us first just how you got into songwriting. Well, it's a bit of a long story, I guess. But um, in my mid-30s, I um, started to pick up the guitar again, just in local meetup groups, mm -hmm. um, small jams. And um, they were real encouraging. And I started to play open mics and was always just playing covers and really wanted to play my own stuff. So um, I took Pat Pattison's online Coursera class. Mm -hmm. And as you know, he's an amazing songwriter teacher and he has you know, many great methods. And so that just really started me off. And since then I've written about a song a month and um, just had tons of great opportunities, um, mm -hmm. including meeting him in person. Yes, to you. <laughs> <laughs> at, at the Rocky Mountain Song School. At the Rocky Mountain Song School, which is the most amazing place. Oh yeah. And just all the support in the community has just helped me um, really feel like I can just try anything I want yeah. and see where it goes. That's awesome. It's been a real blessing. Yeah. So uh, what kind of, tell us a bit about your music, like uh, how you describe it, what inspiration lies behind it, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. I definitely, I think I have a, um, many moods and I have a song for every mood. Yeah. I write, um, sometimes I have a lot of sad love songs and you know, rejection and pain, and, mm -hmm. and I have songs about people and um, stories and, you know, things that are lighthearted and, uh, you know, character stories that are sad and mm -hmm. um, things that are bluesy and country and just all over the place, really. But I think that lends to something a little more interesting. Uh, I'm always blown away by your voice. You have such a soulful, powerful voice. Do you remember when you started singing? Or? Um, yeah, I started singing at a very young age. Um, I grew up... Um, as a very musical child. Mm -hmm. I did um, church choirs and school choirs, mm -hmm. um, orchestra, a children's theater group um, where we put on three plays a year for uh -huh. all of my elementary and junior high years till I left that town. Mm -hmm. um, and what was the town? Amarillo, Texas. Oh, yes. Texas. Nice. And um, there were a lot of opportunities to be involved in music, but I never felt much encouragement to, yeah. to do anything. <laughs> Um, outside of that, um, really until we moved here uh, about, uh, we moved here about 10 years ago, but I, I got into the community about five and, okay. you know, especially once I met um, people in the Left Hand Artist Group mm -hmm. and in Open Mics, like, like Fox Feather and Denny Driscoll yeah. and then Brian Rizek and you mm -hmm. and um, Jessica Epler, Andy Epler, yeah. and they've all been so supportive and... Yeah, let's talk a little more about that community and, and uh, how is it, how has the, the music community here changed your, your art? Oh, it's, um, it's really given me a place to perform. Um, mm -hmm. Even just in the community that we have, Pearl Street, that I can go and busk mm -hmm. in the afternoon and just play anytime I choose. Yeah. I don't, that's not something that other communities have. Mm -hmm. um, and just in the community, I've been uh, lately. I've been involved in more and more um, jam groups and trying to uh, collaborations. Like I'll be doing the Outlaw Country with um, for, at Bootstrap coming up. Oh, that's going to be so um, fun this month. Mm -hmm. And I'll be working with David Simon's group and also Ten Buck Sixer. Oh, nice! And I'm started. Uh, um, I started playing more violin um, in your. Um, Wednesday night jam. Yeah. And so now I'm, I'm playing violin for both of those projects and then also <laughs> for the Longmont Theater's uh, production of A Christmas Carol. Oh, wow. I have uh, eight performances starting um, just after Thanksgiving. Oh, that's awesome. And so that will be amazing. Speaking of all those other projects, I always see a few of your, your other projects, like you build pedals 
And you yes. build jewelry. Yes, I've been, uh, I've been etching. You probably okay. can't see this on the thing. Cool. I've been, um, well, I started uh, etching metal as part of making petals. Okay. And so I'm trying to learn more about how, just on my own, just trying to understand how these petals are working and how you can make mm -hmm. changes to them. And some work better than others. <laughs> um, but it's been fun. And I use two all the time in my own show mm -hmm. um, that I've built myself. Um, and I've put a few out there for sale, and yeah. so that's going on. So the jewelry is a, a much cheaper metal to work with than the mm -hmm. petal, and it's gotten a lot of good response. People yeah. seem to like them, so um, I've been selling them at shows mm -hmm. and um, giving them as gifts and stuff. Nice. Yeah. What inspired you to become a part of Sandbridge Music? Well, I just think it's fantastic what they're doing for mm -hmm. the community, for musicians and artists, for education for um, you know, sending three amazing people to song school this year mm -hmm. on scholarship. Um, they could not have picked three more amazing people who, um, and it was amazing to get to experience song school with them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, two for the first time. Uh, yeah. And, um, and yeah, so it's just, it's amazing what they're self selfishly, selflessly, Oh my god. Self. Let's go back. Cover is so selfish. Self <laughs> I can't even say it. Okay, we're cutting it right here. Oh, we're using that though. It's amazing how selfless they are in just doing for the community for no reason except for the love of music and the community. And, um, you know, Tris is just amazing. All of you and Antonio and everyone involved. Yeah. Well, it's so good to have you as our featured Thank artist. Thank you so much. And you honored. got a show coming up on November 16th. I do. At Shepherder yes. in Longmont. Yes. 6 to 8, 6 right? to 8 p.m. Nice. And what can people expect from your live show? What do you hope people walk away with after seeing you live? Well, I hope they have an enjoyable time. I hope <laughs> they like my music. Um, but, you know, I, I play different shows. Sometimes I play um, in the background mm -hmm. and don't mind you know, just being some dinner time music and, mm -hmm. and sometimes I play more listening shows and then I choose heavier songs that require a little more listening. Yeah. And um, a little more thought. So I'm trying to have both kind of experiences. Um, the Chuck Burger Show is, you know, a really fun family place to go mm -hmm. and I play a lot of covers too and, then, um, and I think audiences like to hear yeah. um, some <laughs> covers. And, and they're fun to play too, uh -huh. and get people involved in the show. Yeah. And so I like to play really familiar songs, and then uh, and then interspersed with my own songs, I play uh, electric guitar, and um, using a pedal board with a few of my own pedals, and sometimes a small board, and sometimes a very large board with a looper and yeah. a wah pedal and um, unnecessary pedals. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. Unnecessary pedals. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun, and it's really. A blessing to have such a place to just get to try out new things and to have an audience and to get asked back and um, you know Danny Schaefer has been so supportive um, you know running open mics and you know helping out and you know finding people you know help helping promote gigs and things mm -hmm. it's um, it's really a joy just to be in this community with these great people. So uh, if people want to find more of your music and learn more about you, how do they do that? Well, on, um, I post a lot on Facebook mm -hmm. um, at Valerie Bot Music. That's B-H-A-T, Valerie Bot Music. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, my website is Valerie-Music.com. Valerie -music it might be a hyphen. I don't know. <laughs> Live on the edge. Valerie dash hyphen. Little Mark Music dot com. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Perfect. Is there anything else you'd like to share with your fans? Well, I do post a lot of uh, most of my songs uh, for free download on my website and SoundCloud, and mm -hmm. um, I do uh, also been doing a lot of um, instrumental electronic projects. Oh. So, um, one uh, person in um, Germany has listened to it every day for uh, four months. <laughs> Do you know this person's he's name? No, oh, well, just his little, you know, profile, and yeah. he's really keeping me going. I oh, mean, that's that amazing! One, just to know he listens to that one song. Wow. <laughs> I'm assuming in the morning. I have it yeah. just in my mind. Oh. Well, that is all we've got time for today. But thank you so much for sitting down and sharing with us your music and and all the wonderful stuff you do. 
Thank you, Tim. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. If you'd like to see Valerie perform live, check her out November 16th at Chub Burger in Longmont, Colorado from 6 to 8. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back in December for our next Featured Artist of the Month. If you're interested in learning more about SoundBridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.com. Dude, 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 dude. I like that we're holding coffee cups. I, I, like, I started to off, but I think it's, it's I think it's the way we should do this. It feels like we're, we're like a morning show. Ooh, how fun would that be? We're a morning show. Welcome to Coffee with Tim and Val. Tim and Val in the morning. Tim and Val in the morning. It's not a drive time show because everyone's already at work. This is for those of you who don't have jobs. <laughs>